In this video, we're showing how to set up the base of a Mendocino motor. We're using one inch diameter countersunk ring magnets. These are RX033CS-N. That means the north pole is on the countersunk side. As you can see, we're double checking here with the plastic coated magnet. Again, just like the shafts, the uh, magnets on the shaft, we orient these so that the north pole is facing the point of the shaft. The trick is to make sure that the magnets on the shaft and the magnets on the base are facing the same direction. You could just as easily pick the south pole facing up. Really arbitrary. The question is, how far apart should we place the magnets? Very close, very far. What is just right? You find that closer together it tends to push the shaft up higher, but it isn't quite as stable. It tends to tip over to the side. As you get farther apart, it won't support as much weight. But somewhere in the middle, it seems to provide a nice stable little pocket where it will sit while still giving it enough upward force to keep it suspended. Experimenting with, like, with it like this by hand is really the best way to figure out what distance will work with the magnets you choose and the weight you have in, in your setup. Once you have that second distance set, you can screw them together. And again, we'll double check, just make sure that that distance feels right. Now, it's stable left to right, but you'll notice the shaft will shoot forward to the right in this video, uh, away from the magnets, along the axis of the shaft. It's not stable in that direction. It won't just float there unless we provide some sort of stop for it. Here we'll use a simple block of wood to act as that stop and make the shaft float in a stable way. Now you need to pick the distance between that wall and where the base magnets are. You actually want to position it so that the magnets are not exactly perfectly underneath the magnet on the shaft. You need to be a little bit behind it so that the shaft is tipping forward a little bit. If you move the base magnets too close to the wall, it won't provide that stability and it'll fall off the magnet. You can see here that the magnet on the shaft is a little further forward, a little to the right of the base magnets, which tends to make the shaft very lightly tip into the wall. And that's what keeps it stable. Have the distance worked out, we just screw the magnets into place. Be sure to check out the next video where we'll add a second set of magnets in the base, which will let the shaft float without holding on to it.